What's up you guys? It's Queen Lo and we are learning how to make lipstick today. This was not the color that came in the container. It was clear. It was spearmint. And now it is a metallic, beautiful looking brown. So, pucker up and keep watching if you want to know how to make this and two other beautiful chapstick, lipstick, thingies, whatever you want to call them. They're really fun and you only need two ingredients and a couple utensils. So, keep watching if you want to know. It's over this way. Let's go. It's really fun. I have a glass. Some toothpicks. And, well, okay, and interchangeably you can use baby utensil, toothpick, and chopstick. I have a really cheap one from the beauty store, those 99 cents, and some EOS ones because I bought these first and then I saw these and I was like, hey, I can make four lipsticks. Oh, and obviously, how are you gonna make it pigmented? you need an eyeshadow palette. So this is actually a fake eyeshadow palette. I use this red color that was up in here. And it turned out pretty cute. This is it on my lips. And this is it. And the chapstick. You can see how it goes on like really smooth on my wrist. So, yeah, let's make some chapsticks. Um, today I decided I would make two with you guys. I'm gonna do one with the EOS and one with the other cheap one. What you do is screw it all the way up to the top and I should bring you guys closer. So I'm gonna bring you guys a little closer. Oh, actually. I forgot, it says use a toothpick on normal um, things. I found it works easier if you just kind of like tug at it. There you go. And then it gets all the way out at the base so there is nothing inside. Bring it back down. And if there is something inside, you can just use a toothpick and kind of scrape it out. And then we get into an eyeshadow palette. Um, so I wanted to use this because it was a fake eyeshadow palette, but I kind of like the colors, and they kind of work nice. So let me look in my makeup bag and see if maybe there's something else we can use. I decided to go with the eyeshadow because I'm indecisive, and there are these two pretty colors that I want to use, which... Ooh, that one looks really... But I'm gonna mix these two together. This was supposed to be her Kai Shadow Holiday Edition. I was actually really mad when I bought it. I was in New York. And when they gave it to me, obviously they were saying it was real, and my silly butt still bought it. It even came with the, you know, though, like, whatever. Alright, so next I'm taking the EOS, and I don't know why my camera's doing this, so I hope this video turns out really good for you guys. But, sheesh, that is a long stick. It actually pulls out easily, and then there's just a little plastic end on there. So, put the EOS in there. This one smells like it's probably going to be my favorite. The one that I made was spearmint, and then this one's actually an almond smell, which I really like too. EOS is a little bit easy, easier to break up. You can see I kind of just like push right on there and it kind of breaks up into little pieces. The other ones, and that's with the toothpick, the other one's a little bit harder to 
to do. So, I, I am going to take these downstairs and warm them in the microwave. And you are going to follow along with me. Riley, you want to say hi to the camera? You like the camera? Why? Da, da, da. I have this one and this one because I want to do that. Oh, okay. Well, can I have a kiss? Love you. Oh, look at this lipstick, you guys. It's pigmented so well that it's just right there on her cheek. And it's just, that's how good it is. It just stayed right there. So, 20 more seconds on the microwave. We're going to take it out. Ooh. We're gonna use an oven mitt. on top. All right, well, it's been a couple seconds and I walked back upstairs and I have our very similar looking lipsticks. I probably should have just picked two completely different colors, but you guys kind of get the drift with the brown one that I did as well which is, again, what's on my lips, so I'm gonna just wipe that off. And it looks like this one didn't work as good as we could have hoped. But, I do know that this one will be successful because I used it the first time. Oh, and look at that, it goes up and it looks very smooth. This one actually looks even better than the red one. It just feels really good and it's warm and it really like, I was trying to apply a little bit more to maybe make it a little bit more pigmented, but you can see it's kind of like a tint and it actually matches my hair really good. Didn't like EOS, I definitely like these. Got them from Ticey Beauty Supply. You can probably get some cheap chapstick from anywhere. And they worked really well. I liked these the best and these are the colors. This one came out more smooth, if you can see the difference on the sides. I think because I warmed this one up more and it was more liquidified was when I put it in. So um, just know that. And again, the EOS was just playing games not coming out so maybe I'll scrape it out and use it in a different type of canister maybe a contact lens case that would be kind of cool because um, it still again will be easy to scrape out I'm not sure why it's not we can see what it looks like though This one is more pigmented, so there was a difference between the two. I actually like this one a lot better, kind of. Um, they both not both match my hair. Uh, but, yeah, so, again, you guys can switch it up. I was reading on other places that you can use coconut oil and stuff like that. So, let me know what you think in the comments below. Bow, 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 bow. 
down there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And like this video if it was helpful. Let me know what color you tried if you did decide to try it and the way that you got to keep it cost efficient. Because I love things that are natural and things that are cost efficient. Um, other than that, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch other videos because yeah, I have beauty tutorials, but I have interviews with some poppin' artists um, and I'm really trying to do my thing out here. So all love and support that you give me is much appreciated. I love you guys so much and thanks for watching again.